Recently, we heard about the Balogun market fire. It raised a lot of shops and, of course, lots of money's worth, um, you know, lost in that market fire. And this is not the first time. Mm -hmm. There was a, there have been so many market fires and it seems to happen almost around this time. Yeah. It happens maybe in October, in November, sometimes just at the beginning of December. And it makes me really wonder why we keep having these almost recurrent um, market fires in Nigeria, especially in Lagos. Yeah, I think in Nigeria will do, but uh, yeah, Lagos has had yes. its fair share. Yes. And we're asking, why do you think this happened? And most of the time, towards this time of the year, and but it, it, it's something that it, almost every month, you expect to hear something in the country that mm. has happened. But in Lagos, we're seeing, because you, you don't really know the impact this game. Imagine you having a shop. Ha. Every single thing you have. I mean, that's what you want to use to get to the next level. And you get a call by 2 a.m. That is on fire. Oof. And you rush. What can you save? But you see, just as I said, it's not just in Lagos. When I was a child, Stretch, mm -hmm. the what market in Calabar, almost every single November or December, the fire will happen. It would happen almost at the same part of the market. Every single time. And so you would always no notice that every year the government is rebuilding the market. Which is really pathetic. Quite sad, you know. So the question is, what can we do? So for me, I'm thinking maybe, you know, all this big or gas, you know. Maybe if, if their boy is doing well, they will find one way or the other to bring the person down. Ah. So maybe that is what I'm thinking, you know. Because it has been happening... Uh, consistency are being mm, yeah, right. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that that's what you think. Thinking. All right. Okay. So All she right. believes in the mysteriousness of the fire. Yeah, that someone could just use it to this boy. Is, his shoulder is getting too high. Yeah. Let's, let's, look at this boy that I, 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 I train. Ah. Right, moving like he has boy ah. that is mm. What's wrong with himself? Let's mm. burn, let's burn him down. But I, mm. really, so that so that that's uh, that's arson. And that yes, now that so is that's arson. That's that a, that's a, that's a criminal offense. Pri private arson. <laughs> Can we pick a call? I was in Agigi. Mm -hmm. I was in Agigi when smoke sat zooming out from one shop. Okay. Are you with me? Okay. So we, and nobody was there. The shop has been locked up for almost two months. The owner travel. Okay. So we have to we were, I have to call the one one two. And they responded immediately. Lagos State government responded immediately and they came. When the only two of uh, the job was finally opened and broken. The padlock was broken. Okay. Guess what happened? What? We have uh, this uh, uh, stuff that are uh, powderish. I don't know whether this one that they used to use with paint, they used to use with producing paint. Yes. And we have some uh, some other combustible elements there. Yeah. So mm. what was uh, there was the shop was so overheated. Okay, so the thing just started. Oh. The, uh, hey, the heat, the shop, the car, it was available for the items inside, the temperature. Okay. So it ignites uh, the kind of a smoke. Uh, even not the time, even not for the timely response of uh, I, I it happened in broad day. Even not for the timely response uh, of uh, it would have the started a fire. The, timely, uh, it was, the fire would have any little brief. Yeah. Was, and uh, the electric uh, cable would just get ignited. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. It would have engulfed all the whole building. So it's just okay. care. It's just like we don't take precaution or what? Precaution, man. You know, the thing is, is that one they pack too much load inside their inside shops. shops. Okay. Uh, I see. I see. Uh, but the biggest problem is negligence. Mm. That's one of our biggest problems. Imagine when they're selling cooking gas, they're fine at Kara. You pack all the gas in that inside one store, and the next person that your mama put there for corner. And there's a little leakage. Or you use the wrong uh, wire to wire house or one wrong electrician to wire your house to have any house. What do you expect? Hmm. Look, they need to come teach those market people safety precautions. Hmm. These things see happen in those that are building houses. They don't wear helmets. They don't prepare themselves. Some people for the head that doesn't have juju for village. It's not juju. Maybe is our biggest problem. Okay. You, you know in the, the way we practice in Nigeria, okay, sometimes they go to some stores, they bring up all the goods that they store and put it outside. Then the car runs to hit the another thing that you do. That's a problem. Mm. Yes, I was made to understand with one of my, made to understand by one of my madams. 
she's an evil woman. She said it's a more diabolic. That um, when those shops burn, the shops around, when they get burned, mm. that whoever is responsible for it, the person will be richer, especially mm. the next year. Or, I don't know how to put it, mm. but that is what usually happens. That's it's what more she like diabolic, yes. That's what she told but, you. Uh, yes, and she's an evil woman from Aba. She said it's a common before in Aba, but okay. people started building concrete and warehouse where the roof, everything will be concrete. So it stops. So I think the shoe is more about his diabolical. <laughs> okay, I like the way you are laughing. Mm. Thank you. Because it sounds really ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so, you've been born, so I'll be looking for my to come. <laughs> <laughs>